the AI of it all. Obviously, Cynthia was upset about it. What was your reaction? So conflicting and troublesome sometimes, but I think it's just kind of such a massive adjustment period, and this is sometimes it goes too far. I yeah, I think so, and I have so love her so much, and you know, it's it's just a big adjustment period. You know, it's like so much stimulation about something that's so much bigger than us. So yeah. Do you think you and Cynthia after this? We'll record original music together. Professionally and personally for the rest of our lives. So I would say absolutely. Good. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Hello. Hello. It felt, I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Required to do every single thing all at once while also being someone else, you know, with the most amazing honor of my life. And, and I'm curious because when I heard this cap, he might be coming from and what he might be thinking and feeling beneath, you know, the grand uh not, yeah, not yes, never get it <laughs> so yeah, yeah, don't yeah. let it run you over <laughs> yes. and no more singing with anyone else it again. Yeah. it'd be no. very very difficult <laughs> yes. to be satisfied with anyone else's voice but it really yeah. is beautiful you know we yeah. sound so different mm -hmm. when we're singing separately and then when we sing together it just feels so symbiotic and we kept so. going like this we were like it's so good to hear you the whole dance too. number start. <laughs> <laughs> no um i mean listen it's a song that i've loved again since i'm 10 years old mm -hmm. so to love something and then to live it, to be, you know, to have that be your job, to live it and bring new truths to it is like completely different, you know? You're looking at the lines in a new way and you're trying to figure out your own version mm -hmm. of these lines that you've loved for so long. The audience member just <laughs> enjoying all of the craziness and the, like, uh, Okay, I don't know anything about it. Hi, I'm Ariana Grande, and I'm hosting SNL this week with Stevie Nicks. Iconic witchy women are here just in time for Spy 24-7. My mistake. <laughs> Brought me down. Yeah! This week, but before we start, I just want to say, I would really prefer to not do anything Wicked or Wizard of Oz really. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. No, not till now. Not till... <laughs> We've brought you here today to take a lie detector test. One... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the time? Yeah. I think I felt very pretty. Oh, this day. <laughs> Shit. We are ready. The machine has been calibrated. May have delivered most of the things. <laughs> okay. Fun. True. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be back hosting SNL. This year has been truly amazing. I got to play Galinda in the Wicked movie. Which is awesome because you know I'm such a theater kid and it's every theater kid's dream to either play Galinda or else second time's the charm. <laughs> but, <laughs> but before I start, I just want to make one thing clear tonight. I am just I'm not gonna wink at my camera. I promise far away from me, because the last thing I'm gonna do is modulate the key. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I didn't freeze. I was like, we're getting ready to apply it, Courtney. I'm fine. I'm fine. 